The FIFA Football World Cup has always been held in either May, June or July. But for the first time, Qatar World Cup has broken that tradition and that was more out of necessity. Temperatures in Qatar can reach over 40 degrees Celsius during the summer season. So, with this in mind, the tournament was moved to November and December. Winter though is a relative term in Qatar where temperatures are still most likely to hover around 30 degrees Celsius. Now the question is, how did Qatar tackle the task of keeping the stadiums cool throughout the matches? Saud Ghani, also known as Dr. Cool, a professor at the Qatar University was assigned the Herculean task of developing a new air conditioning technology for 7 of the 8 World Cup venues. After extensive research, Dr. Kuhl developed a revolutionary air circulation system that will keep a cool bubble of air in the stadium. The new technology will keep the FIFA World Cup athletes and spectators comfortable during the football matches. The air coolers were first tested on a 35,000 strong crowd in attendance for the 2017 Emir Cup final. A good engineer will be excited when they see a challenge since the gladiators times. You'll have these stands and you'll have the players' uh, tunnel. So stadiums never changed since these days. But we started in Qatar to put something new, air-conditioned uh, stadiums. Think uh, that you are now sitting in a small bubble and we use a difference in uh, buoyancy in order to make sure that cold air, which is a little bit heavier and thicker, will stay at the bottom and hot air, which is lighter, will stay in the top. We are only maybe cooling about two meters above where the players and spectators are and we're recycling the cool air to cool it again in order to make ourselves sustainable. We did not patent any of this and at the same time Qatar is looking to put this in a book as something that people can use internationally. We are looking to using the technology in order to demonstrate sustainability in other sectors. We managed to build greenhouses with 80% less cooling demand of a normal greenhouse and we hope that we can use this uh, legacy to look at ways to eradicate hunger globally, even in Africa or the Far East. Fate is fate. I mean, uh, um, when you grow up, uh, most of us, they wanted to be astronauts, but you can be an astronaut in your own field. This is what I learned. One of the most important advantage of the technology is that it is unpatent, meaning businesses and countries can use it to develop similar systems. The revolutionary technology is a potential game changer for countries with hot climates.